हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय फ्रेंड्स व्हेन यू आर यू मेजर द मिल्क यू यूज द पैरामीटर दैट इज नोन एज लीटर एंड व्हेन यू वांट टू मेजर द डिस्टेंस देन यू यूज किलोमीटर बट माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज दैट टूल इफ यू वांट टू मेजर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री सो having this thing on the backdrop what happened in the year 1990 professor mahbubul haq and amar the same they introduced a concept that is known as sdi index and in this sdi index uh, we use three parameters the one is health the second is education and the third is life expectancy actually why i am discussing about this sdi index because recently on 8th of september uh, the sdi report of 2022 but the datas within this 2022 are related to 2021 and this year the position of india has slided down by one point i mean in the year 2020 india stood in the position 131 but in sdi report 2021 india is standing 132 position so instead of uh, rising or instead of uh, running in the positive direction we are going backward so it is uh, a little serious matter and uh, i think uh, uh, means who so ever is responsible we the citizen or anyone they must take the responsibility and we must work upon all these three factors so that uh, we uh, can have our country in a completely different paradigm see we also compare india's position with the rest of the countries but uh, more especially here the one country is pakistan and uh, uh, the second is china why china because uh, uh, people think that uh, Uh, india's population is very very huge and it is uh, not possible to control it so let me tell you that china's population is more than india's population even then china stands in the 79th position out of 191 countries and india i have already told you 132 position out of 191 countries yes we are very ahead Uh, in comparison to pakistan because pakistan stands in 161 position but my question is why should we uh, compare uh, our country with pakistan why are we not comparing with the countries those are standing those are standing on the top position for instance in this year's report uh, switzerland stands in the first position the second country is uh, uh, norway and the third is iceland however the population is very less uh, because uh, i uh, what i know that uh, the population of switzerland is around 80 lakh and the population of delhi is 3.2 crore so you can say that uh, uh, four switzerlands can can be submerged into delhi so uh, but uh, my point is that if we want to compare india's development then we should always choose a better uh, parameter so that we could always hope something better if we always think about the pakistan then i think india does not require any kind of development so all these uh, factors we need to uh, take care uh, we should concentrate uh, in education in health and uh, in the life expectancy if these three parameters are being developed then definitely the future of their country will be healthy and that will be known as a developed country in the near future if you are working upon consistently on these three factors last thing i would like to tell you why actually the rank uh, has decreased why because this does not happen only with india but so many countries got affected uh, negatively uh, the one reason is uh, the uh, you can say the internal policies of the respective countries but by and large uh, reason uh, which cannot be ignored that is the pandemic corona pandemic and you know how it devastated the whole economy of the world 
it was so vigorous that it made the whole universe to lit the dust so uh, this corona pandemic and other than this the climate change is also one of the factors so uh, we should also work upon uh, in this climate change uh, by the way pandemic is not there but climate change if there is i always said that if there is any uh, one which is the biggest problem in the 21st century that is the climate change so these climate change uh, this climate change and these three parameters the education the health and life expectancy uh, we must take care of them then definitely india has a golden future thank you thank you